Hi, I'm Adam Drake, and today we're gonna to talk about Nitro Engine Basics. So I plan to do kind of a whole series of Nitro tuning, giving a little bit of insight, stuff that I've learned over the years. But in today's video, it's gonna be the basics. This is gonna be for someone who's new to Nitro, just to give you a little bit of an understanding of what the three needles, some carburetors have two, but OS engines have three, what those three needles do, what the idle speed does, how much of an adjustment you should make, little things like that, so just the basics. So if, you're, if you've raced Nitro for many years, maybe you'll wanna go on to the next video, but for the new guys, this is for you. So first, before doing any tuning to your engine, you'll wanna start by making sure your endpoints for both your throttle and brakes are set correct to your transmitter. You don't wanna fire the engine up without having it set to the transmitter because it can cause tuning issues that are not related to the carburetor. You wanna make sure that you have enough dead band to where when the throttle servo is at neutral, the carburetor is also at neutral. Because otherwise, if it's opening the carburetor slightly, you're gonna think that the idle's high, you're gonna start making adjustments. So first and foremost, you'll wanna go ahead, set your throttle high point. At that time, go ahead and set your brakes as well. I have videos for both the high point and also your brakes. The next tip, before making any adjustments, make sure that the engine is fully saturated with heat. So basically you'll wanna make sure that the engine is between 180 to 220 degrees before making any adjustments. Also, when you start your engine, you'll want it to slowly come up to temperature. I suggest using a ProTec uh, 12 volt head heater or heat gun or blow dryer to heat the engine. But then when you first fire it up, you'll wanna slowly and, and just kind of slow revs, bringing the engine up to temp. Don't fire it up and start just running it at a really high RPM because it's really hard on the engine and can cause um, you to reduce the life of the engine. So next will be when you're making your adjustments. So you, it's simple, you use flathead screwdriver. When making your adjustments, you'll wanna make really small adjustments You'll hear from time to time the racers say, give me an hour on top or take an hour out of the top. And what they're referring to is an hour on a clock. So you're gonna wanna make that adjustment one hour at a time. In most cases, if you have to make an adjustment more than an hour at a time, it could be that something happened or changed within your fuel system. Maybe your pressure line got a hole in it or fell off maybe the fuel line got a hole in it, or your filter got extremely dirty. So before you start chasing a tune, if the engine has been tuned and been running well and drastically makes it uh, a, a change in tune, you'll wanna come in and check your whole fuel system and engine to make sure nothing was damaged, or it could even be like your linkage gets bent. But um, typically, especially with OS engines, they're super consistent you won't have to make tons of adjustments once you kind of get into that race tune bubble. So we will start by explaining the different adjustments. So right here we have the low speed adjustment and the low speed adjustment is gonna control the initial throttle response. It will also control how the engine idles. So if the engine is really rich on bottom, you'll hear the engine when it comes down to idle, slowly start to kind of gurgle or load up is what we would call it, and then could potentially die. It's because you're flooding the engine with fuel. You can also do the opposite. If you come in and the engine is um, idling super high and what we would call pinging, it could be because you're starving the engine. So one thing to kind of take into consideration is when you go 
um, pull into pit lane, you'll want to listen to the engine and see how the idle is. Because again, low speed needle can, can have a little bit of an effect on that as well. Now, if you turn to the right, you're leaning, you're giving it less fuel. It's again, going to be crisper, accelerate a little bit harder than if it has a richer setting. Now directly 180 degrees on the opposite side of the carburetor is the mid-speed adjustment. Now you'll hear a lot of people say never touch the mid-speed adjustment. Just run it the way it comes from the factory. And that's fine if you choose to. But if you make an adjustment and you feel it's the wrong direction and you're not happy with that change, you can always go back. The other thing is, with any of the OS engines, I have carburetor settings or baselines. So if you ever get lost, if, if this, your tune gets out of whack, you can look back, type in Adam Drake and whichever engine it is that you have, and it'll bring up carburetor settings to get you back close. So the mid-speed adjustment is going to control the mid-range of the power band. So Sometimes you'll, you'll have or you'll see an engine that's really crisp on bottom, then it kind of flattens or tapers off, and then it is really strong again in the high RPM range. That could just be that the mid-speed is a little bit rich. So I don't think it's something you should be scared to adjust, but uh, again, if, if you are or you get out of whack, we have videos that have the baseline settings. Now. To the right of that, this really small screw is the idle stop screw. So this is going to control how far the slide closes and will control the idle of the engine. So if you screw that in, it's going to raise the idle. If you screw it out, it's going to lower the idle. Another thing to consider with the idle and the low speed adjustment is they can kind of go hand in hand a little bit. So if you make a adjustment and the idle kind of comes up because you lean the low speed needle, you may also want to make a one hour adjustment to back the idle screw out. Now the third and final screw, this will be what you use the most. This is the high speed needle and this is going to control just like it's its name, it's going to control the high speed or the higher RPM range of the engine. So basically this is going to control the speed that the engine or the RPM that the engine is able to put out um, when the carburetor is fully opened. So this should give you just kind of a, a general and basic idea of the different needles, how those adjustments will affect the power band. Now, there are some engines that don't have a mid-speed needle. The spray bar is just kind of set in place. So in, with an engine like that, obviously you, there's no need to adjust the mid-speed. But So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to comment, like, share, and we'll see you in the next one.